Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on this Tuesday of the first week of Lent. We gather here today, once again, seeking God's mercy so that we can change our lives and we can return back to him so that from the ashes we have received we may rise and rise into the fire of Pentecost. As we gather here with grateful hearts acknowledging our sins let us cry out for mercy. Kyrie eleison Kyrie eleison Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who filled St. John of God with the spirit of compassion, grant, we pray, that giving ourselves to works of charity we may merit to be found among the elect in your kingdom, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as the heavens, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come out, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved them. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord comforts the evildoer to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, to those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One does not live on bread alone, but every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples in praying, do not battle like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, as in the Advent season, during the Lenten season, we read from the book of the prophet Isaiah. And once again, Isaiah is that prophet of hope. He gives us something for us to long for, to look forward to. And then we hear about God's word. And this is a beautiful image. I love this image. Just as from the heavens the rain and the snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful. What a beautiful image that is. When we really think about how the entire creation really works, that the snow and the rain come down, they water the earth, and then eventually evaporate and go back up to do that same cycle. I'm not a scientist, so maybe I've simplified that a little bit too much, but that's really what it is. Until it has done its job, it doesn't return back to the clouds. And God says that that is just like his word, that that word that he gives us, those words of life, will not return to him void until it does its will achieving the end for which I sent it. What a beautiful thing to know that God's word, the words that we listen to in the scripture, are meant to come upon us and meant to fer fertilize us, to water us so that we can grow. Not grow physically, but grow spiritually. To grow into the image and likeness of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We've heard again that beautiful prayer, the Lord's Prayer. And Jesus makes it very clear to us. We don't have to babble in our prayer. God knows everything that we need even before we ask. That doesn't mean we don't ask, but we don't have to go through long explanations. But of course, even in the Our Father, there is something that is often difficult for us. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We have a hard time forgiving. Sometimes it's very difficult, especially if we've been betrayed by a loved one, or if we have been truly hurt to the core. But God wants us to be like him. And God reminds us, if you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. So it's almost up to us. Are we willing to try to be like the Father? Are we willing to try to forgive those who've wronged us and hurt us? Yes, it is very difficult. Perhaps we may think it's impossible. But just remember a couple of weeks ago in one of our gospel readings, for nothing will be impossible for God. God will give us the grace so that we may love as he loves and that we may forgive as he forgives. Mindful of the power of our words, we lift up words of prayer to God, who always hears us. For the church, may she be always strengthened by the Holy Spirit to proclaim God's word boldly and beautifully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, may the Lord grant them hearts of compassion and strength of will to protect human life from the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a peaceful solution to this conflict in the Ukraine. We pray for those refugees, those who are seeking safety and shelter. We pray for the conversion of hearts of their attackers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to understand God's will in their lives, may the light of God illuminate their journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, the lonely, the oppressed, may they know the healing touch of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, for those who mourn for them, for the souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs, your intentions, that we bring to the Lord today, in the very silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us take all of these prayers and lift them into one, raising them up to God our Father, praying as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Loving God, hear these prayers. We ask you to grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, as he lives and he reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall. So must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life.